Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWPlans.com. Today I'm going to be setting up the January spread for my 2020 Passion Planner. Um, we've got an assortment of washi tape available to us here. We also have my sticker kit, which is printed out. Um, actually, I don't have this in my shop. It's just something that I printed out for myself to go into the planner. So let's begin. And the reason I'm using my washi tape is because, as you can see, we've had some issues with the printer here uh, doing stickers. So the washi tape strips for that kit got kind of trashed. So when that happens, what you can do is go ahead and sub in some washi tape. Um, let's see here. It was originally like a dark blue, almost black kind of color. And I think, I don't really have a color that matches that. I do have these blue sparkles. No, I really think I'm going to do my galaxy tape because it's my favorite. So. Ruler. Slice tool. I think that will go, go good with the gold. You don't have to be perfect with it when you're putting it on there because we are going to trim it up and of course cover it with stickers so it doesn't go down perfect. That's quite all right. So make sure it's not going to cover over anything that isn't getting covered with stickers. washi tape set in there, we can go ahead and set in our dates. Make sure when you're removing stickers, whether it's mine or another store, you're kind of gentle with them. Sticker paper isn't always the best when it comes to being removed cleanly. So you want to try to be as gentle with it as humanly possible. Oh, and before we do that, we need to stick her down our gray box covers. I always do that. I always forget about the box covers, and then I'm very, very, very sad. For mine, I have the line in the middle, so I can just kind of line it up on three points. Also need to get this other sticker on there. Which is our monthly cover sticker. Okay. 
just like that. Now we'll go ahead, cover up these guys down here. put in my monthly action plan. And we're gonna cover over and that's why you gotta be careful if you don't want to rip like I just did here. Sometimes these stickers are a little funny. If you rip, find the edge that has the kind of whitish line to it. You know, if you ripped a sticker, you know what I'm talking about here. Put that edge down first. And then the other side will just match up. I'm going to go ahead in and add in my week covers. Instead of having top priority projects, I have different weekly tasks that I like to break out into um, their respective individual to-dos. So I break those down into week one, week two, week three, and week four. I'm going to go ahead in and put in my various holidays. For ones that are that small, you might want to get out your spatula tool and use that to help guide you getting those in. I like to make sure I get in all these fun little holidays because they give me something to post about on social media. So. to get as many of those as possible onto my calendar. I find it interesting the uh, company that I got my uh, holidays from put the 25th as Chinese New Year, but it's in the planner as Lunar New Year. And that's what I was kind of looking for, the, the Lunar New Year sticker, and I couldn't find it. And then I realized, oh, it's Chinese New Year. Just really weird to me. I wonder, I don't know. Just wondering about that. All I can say. Right. Once we have all of our dates in, then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put in any appointments that I've already made. In case I have an appointment, my therapy appointment on the 7th. So that'll go there. And that's the setup for my planner. I don't currently have my weekly um, goals assignments yet, so I'm going to leave those blank. Um, same thing for my action plan. I don't know quite yet what I'm going to do with this um, yet. What I can do is figure out from my map what my game changer is going to be. And then go from there. So... 
set that up. And that's how I set up my planner for January. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, you can follow me on Insta, ERW underscore plans. Um, my blog is ERWplans.com. And the store is ERWplans.etsy.com. Thanks so much again, you guys. See you next week.